Mm. Hello again. I'm still in the in the aquarium, and this time I'm filming a, a big school of giant daniels. Here, as you can see, and there's a load of them as well in this tank. Mm. Yeah, and giant danios are, are minnows and well, they're part of the minnow family and they're actually one of the largest species of minnows. And as you can see they are quite big. And they can reach up to 10 centimetres or so giant danios can. Mm. Mm. And these are tropical freshwater fish and in the wild giant daniels are originally native to uh, tropical countries of Asia mainly in India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and Thailand mm. and countries like that. Mm. They're natively found in streams or in rivers and they, and they can live to altitudes of up to 300 meters or so, so, uh, so these guys are uh, hmm, quite uh, adaptable or something like that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see, well, giant Daniel, Daniel's uh, sort of a bluish and yellow in colour with some silver. Don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh, they do have silver fins. Hmm. There they are moving quite fast. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, giant Daniels are quite fast moving fish. And they like a, a lot of space to move around. Hmm. As I said earlier, giant danios are sociable fish and they usually live in schools, you know, really large schools like this one here. Mm. Mm. And the natural diet of these guys is mainly aquatic insects in the wild. Though in captivity they, they will accept most types of foods, so these guys are not really fussy about what they eat. Mm. Mm. And during the breeding season, giant danias are egg scatterers and they usually scat scatter their eggs on on leaves, on aquatic plants, mm. and a female can lay up to 300 eggs, and the fryer, uh, the baby fish, can hatch within uh, 24 to 36 hours. Mm. Yeah, that's how quick the, these uh, the eggs can hatch. Mm. Now for beginners, well, giant danios are actually great fish to have if you're a first time fish uh, keeper or something like that. Mm, though they can actually bully smaller fish, these guys can. So it's best not to uh, have smaller fish species with giant danios. But uh, larger fish species are maybe acceptable to keep with giant danios. Mm. Mm. All right, I think I'll leave these giant Daniels alone now. Mm, well, once again, I'll see you next time, everyone.